going to try a pomelo today. And this is a pomelo. Faith, have you ever had a pomelo? Nope. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> so this should be fun. We got this from HEV. And what we're gonna do is play a video of someone who knows what they're doing. We're gonna watch him. He's gonna teach us how to cut a pomelo, how to get into the actual meat of the fruit. We are going to try it out and tell you all what we think. Babe, what do you think a pomelo tastes like? Ooh. Well, it looks like orange, but I'm thinking it would taste like grapefruit. You think it tastes like grapefruit, okay. I'm thinking it might taste like orange, grapefruit, and lemon, like a trio. <laughs> but I'm hoping that it's good. On here, it says, on the inside, less acidic than grapefruit, red, sweet, and juicy, mm. high in antioxidants, vitamin C, and folic acid. How to select. Yellow is ripe. Heavy is juicy, firm is fresh. It has all those. Yes, it does. Preparation, eat like a grapefruit, peel and section. So it gives you a lot of details on it, um, which is kind of one of the reasons why I bought it. It looked attractive and I was like, well, they tell you a whole lot, so let's figure it out. So as you can see, it is yellow and babe, here, catch. Is it heavy? It's heavy. It's heavy, okay. So we're gonna try it out, guys. And we got napkins here just in case things get messy for a paper paper towel. Skin is really thick. Oh, oh, y'all! It smells so fragrant. It does. I almost want to take this and rub it on my skin. <laughs> it does smell good. Yeah, it smells like an orange strawberry grapefruit. Oh my goodness! How many inches? Is that? I think he said one inch in. I'm cutting it into slices, one inch deep. That's what the video says. Mm -hmm. Hope I'm not going too deep because I see some juice coming out already. This is the last slice. Now the peeling off. I think I should just pull up and they cut it right. Look at this. Yeah. That one may be too deep. No, not really. Actually, that's the perfect one. Y'all, look. Let me give y'all a close up. Look. He cut it perfectly. Pieces of his Wow. Berries. I'm gonna do another one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pomelo perfume or something. Oh. Probably. Oh, I want to rub this on me. It uh, smells. You need to Google it first. Oh, this smells so
it's really beautiful. Now y'all, we're gonna pull this apart. Ooh, it's juicy. Mm -hmm. So what he did, you know how when you can um, uh, peel an orange or a lemon and you get those little pieces out and you can just eat those slices. So for the pomelo, what he did when he got out a slice, he took off the skin from around the slice itself and you're just keeping what's inside. So. This is a beautiful fruit. The mouth is watery already. Mm -hmm. All the skin comes off. Ooh. It's juicy. How is it tasty? Yeah. This is a lot clear. You tasted it. What do you think? It's what? good. It's not what I thought. Okay, let me taste. Let me get one of these. I don't know. <gasps> this me love. I thought it was. I thought it was gonna taste like grapefruit. Mmm. Sweet. Yeah, it's Quite not. Sweeter. Yeah. And it has a lot of meat. It's like it's like a, a sweetened grapefruit. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Mmm. Mmm. That's exactly what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. it tastes like a grapefruit with sugar on it. <laughs> I like it. It's so juicy. Yeah, it mm. I think one can make a juice from mm. this easily. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a lot to clean up. <laughs> so... If anyone is interested in getting a pomelo, if you've never tried one before, go for one that looked like this. Yellow and heavy. Mm -hmm. the, the description on it was That's spot on. When it's ripe. Yeah. Yellow is ripe and heavy means it's very juicy. H-E-B was spot on. So, y'all... I'm about to be brave and try the skin. Try the skin. Ah! Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it's like eating. It's. Ugh. <laughs> That's the part that tastes like grapefruit. Mm. Oh. Mm. I feel it's, it's less bitter than grapefruit, I think. So I just had a piece of the actual meat. With some of the skin, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a little bitter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The skin is not it's not edible. It's actually, the skin is a lot more bitter than even a grapefruit. It's like the, mm -hmm. if you've ever tasted the outside of an orange or a lemon, it's kind of like that. The inside is very good though. Yeah. But, you know, there are a lot of health benefits to bitters and certain things that may not be pleasant to the tongue. So I'm pretty sure, and I'm not an expert, I haven't done a lot of research, but I'm pretty sure this skin and the whole, I'm pretty sure they have some type of benefits. I'm just not mentally there <laughs> to eat it. So we're just going to um, deal with this meat. Ooh. So y'all know I love my smoothies and um, I've gotten babe onto smoothies too. Mm -hmm. What do you think about Smoothies. I like them with kale. Uh huh. Yeah, so we do strawberries, banana, and seeds. Yes. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds. That's his favorite type of seed to put in there. So we do smoothies on a regular basis, y'all. And we always do like some type of fruit. Um, as far as the milks, usually coconut milk, almond milk, or a mixture. Um, we've done cashew milk. So fruit, some type of nut milk. Um, sometimes kale or spinach and then we like to do seeds in there sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds almonds cashews just some type of nut or seed chia seeds yeah so so I think that this would be really good in a smoothie I don't I know so. yeah I'm thinking with what kind of smoothie right like what to put it with I think that would be really interesting. 
maybe like banana, mango, strawberry, something kind of tropical. Right. Mm. So y'all, this is the first thing that I have eaten today. The only thing I had before this was water. And I just, I really, I didn't want to, you know, put anything else on my taste buds. I really just wanted to taste it. And it's, what is it? It's 9.38 a.m. here, Central Standard Time. And all we've done so far, I taught some classes early. I think my first class was around like five. I did four classes, so only two hours. Hence the red color on my lips. I put on some red color for my classes. But that's really all I've done this morning. Did you study yet or what? How was your morning so far? No, I took a break today. I took a break today. Okay, so he's just been chilling. Yeah, so we haven't done anything yet. This is like the first thing that we've done besides me teaching classes. So this this is our breakfast. <laughs> but you had, um, what did you have right before this bit? Oh, uh, just some vegetables. Yeah, he had some mixed vegetables. It's a little bit of meat in here. And y'all, the sweetness of it, it's a subtle sweetness. It's not like overly sweet. Like sometimes if you get a very, very ripe banana, it's like super sweet. It's not like that. And it's not like a super sweet orange. It's kind of, like I said, it's like a, a grapefruit with a little bit of sugar sprinkled on it. So it's, it's pleasant. I love the color of it. It's like a gradient. Mm -hmm. Yes, like a gradient pink salmon type of color. It's a very beautiful fruit. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's darker and then gets lighter. It's so pretty. It's very obvious. Probably will be lost one. Can we help you? Oh yeah, I can see why that one is tough. Because the core. Yeah, so there's a lot of them. I love how it smells. <laughs> it smells like perfume. Hmm. Like a fruity, fragrant perfume. Hmm. Where do these. It's good inside. Let me the meat is very good. Maybe you got a really good part. Let me try that. Messing up this counter. No. It's really good. Mm -hmm. So I think what's important, we're done. So what I've learned just by doing this, yes, it's important to get the, um, the meat from the inside. And if you don't want that bitterness, to make sure that none of the skin is attached to the meat. Otherwise, when you bite into it, you will taste some bitterness. Mm. Mm -hmm. really good food. I don't even know if we eating it right. <laughs> we eating it though, but matters. Look at our hands, y'all. We made a mess. <laughs> but mm. sometimes making a mess is fun. <laughs> Juicy, juicy, juicy. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. It's pretty good. So if I had to rate this on a scale of one to 10, I would give it a nine. I really like it. What would you give it? Actually, somebody just served it to me. Without me doing the work, doing the work I would give it a 10. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah. It's so juicy and nice. So y'all, here's the fruit of our labor. <laughs> Pun intended. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very good. We have a huge mess to clean up. Pleasantly surprised. I was thinking I would be tasting grapefruit. 
yeah i kind of i was i was wanting it to be good and then i was i was worried too i was like ah, maybe it's not gonna be good you can see one of the big seeds here yeah lots of plenty all right guys so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video peace blessings love and light god be with you bye 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 y'all so we are cleaning and i decided to see if the pomelo skin would work out the same way a um the skin of a lemon or a lime does so if you don't know you can take the skin of a lemon or a lime i've specifically used a lemon in the past and you can rub it the inside not the outside the inside around any type of fixtures like this and it helps them to shine, helps to clean them, get off grout because they're, you know, you know, they're citrus fruit. So I don't know if the pomelo would do the same thing, but since it's in the same family, I kind of put grapefruit, lemon, lime, and all that together. Maybe it will give us a good, good result. This is already kind of fairly okay, but I'm just wondering if it'll give us a little shine. and wipe off what I just put on it. Mm. I think it helps a little bit. It's not a huge difference, but it's, it seems to me like it's kind of the same, same as, it gives the same result that a lemon would. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that looks cute.